Hello, hello, and this is Pia speaking, and thank you very much for watching this video. And thank you very much for um, purchasing the ebook um, on Facebook interactions and tips and hacks and things that I've learned basically. I've composed this uh, because um, over the, the years in the network marketing space or social media space, I've done an, a ton of paid programs. And what I've done is I've compiled uh, a, a, a whole load of information that I have found that worked for me. Um, and it is time saving because you don't want to reinvent the wheel um, if uh, you can get to your destination a lot quicker. Um, so this is mainly to do with your profile page. Um, all the information of what to post um, is all obviously in the pages within this book. Um, but your profile page is very, very important because it's the first port of call. It's people uh, that will get, they will get uh, an, an, an impression of you as soon as you know, they see your profile page. So it's very important to have a picture of yourself because people want to see who you are, what you look like. They don't want to see a picture of a dog or a cat or a car because, you know, um, are they real people? You don't know. So it's very important that you do that. I use um, an app called Canva.com, which is um, brilliant for making cover pictures, um, for editing them. Um, and it's free and that's within the book as well. So first of all, um, your, your picture has uh, got to be crisp uh, and professional looking. Um, your intro is obviously very important because people will have a look to see what you're all about. In my case, I put um, making a difference in people's lives using cryptocurrency, social media, mindset training. So straight away, they know whether they want to connect with you. Um, and it works two ways. You know, when I want to, uh, when I have people add me as their friends, um, the first thing I will do is hover over their name, see um, whether they have a face, first of all, um, and ha have a look at their intro. Now, after I do that, and if I still quite like what I'm seeing, then I will go through their newsfeed. Now, if I find that every other post is product related, then Basically, I know they don't want to become a friend. They just want me for um, a sale um, or, or, or to sell me something you know, that they're doing. So I tend to delete that. So that is why your personal page should be personal um, in the fact that you don't sort of every not to post your business um, related uh, posts all on that. You use a separate page to be able to do that. Um, so keep it separate. Um, because people, what you'll find is um, when, when I first got involved, um, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no training. Um, every single post of mine was post was product related. After a while, I was getting a bit frustrated because I was wondering why people weren't liking my page. Well, you know, if people keep getting products or, or services shoved down their throat all the time, they're going to try and stay away from you as much as possible because they're going to be scared that you're going to jump in their inbox and say, oh, great, thank you for liking my post. Do you want to buy? Uh, do you want to try it? Um, so people tend to avoid you or, you know, or completely ignore you. So that is why it's, it's very important to keep your business and your personal page separately now in the works section here you'll see that works at peer success the peers formula to success now if they want to find out more about my products and services then they will just click on that and that will take them straight to the um, my business page but otherwise if you have a look most most of my pictures are my, my posts are related to my lifestyle um, subtly I will uh, mention something to do with my business um, it'll be um, a valued post because people like value there'll be a few results posts um, and some sort of maybe the odd joke or trivia question posts so that helps a lot of interaction 
Now, as you can see, you know, my I'm getting masses of likes and interactions because, um, as you can see, you know, I'm not shoving products down people's faces. They are getting to know me and people will always buy from people they like and trust. So um, on that note, the other things that you do is Facebook. You know, before Facebook used to, uh, we used to say get as many friends as you can on your post or on your profile because the more you've got, the more people will see you. Well, actually, that's not actually true because if you imagine, you, you if you add and um, confirm every Tom, Dick and Harry that add you as a friend, your newsfeed is going to get so overwhelmed and swamped with uh, people's posts that your ones won't actually be seen. Um, so what we say is before you accept anybody, see what, what they are, who they are, and what intentions they have. First of all, like I said, if they don't have a picture of their face, then I won't add them. I'll go through their newsfeed, see if I like what I see. And then if I feel that like we can build a relationship or we can both uh, help each other, then that's when I go ahead and add them. So how do you find friends? You know, the correct friends. Well, firstly, you can go into groups um, and see people that are like minded, you know, or in the same sort of line of uh, work that you are in, whether it's products, whether it's a weight loss. Um, uh, whether it's, um, you know, network marketing, um, you know, there are, there's, there's so many you know, groups out there. So basically you need to fine tune who you, you want to become friends with. Um, as I explained in my book, um, I absolutely adore Fraser Brooks. So as an example, what I would do is I would type in Fraser Brooks And when his page comes up, then what I would do is either look at his uh, friends list, um, hover around, um, hover over some people that uh, I like the look of after I've looked at their profile picture. Or you can just scroll, scroll down his newsfeed and um, on his comments, um, because people um, are, are looking for the same things as you are, you would see what their comments are um, and hover around um, the people that have commented on his posts and then you can add them as friends that way. So at least when they, um, I'm just trying to find some of his comments. Um, right, so for example, um, he, this uh, a day ago, he had 333 comments on that particular on that particular post. Um, I would go um, and see the comments, hover around um, the, the name, see what their bio says, see that they've got a um, nice, nice picture, whether they look, their profile picture looks professional, and then I would add them. So at least when they come back to you, when you've sent them a friend's request and say, hi, Pia, how do you know me? We could say, um, well, I see that you're you're also a member of Fraser Brooks's um, group, and I'd like to, like to connect with like-minded people, and um, it's it's simple as that. So um, that's one that's one way of adding new friends. Um, the other the other thing is is send um, when you send a friend's request and they accept, always go back and say hi thanks for connecting with you look forward to get to know you you better e easy as that also birthdays in your messenger you will find that you will get a lot of people um whose birthday it is i personally don't actually wish them happy birthday on their main post i tend to send it in messenger because i think it's a little bit more um it's a little bit more personal and it's a great way to start a conversation as example, uh, hi Susan, um, happy birthday, I hope you have a fabulous day, what are you up to today? And then obviously they will re reply to that and it gets, it, it gets the conversation going and you get to find out 
um, more about them. Um, and then you've got, it's easier for you to connect them to see whether they would be interested in, in what you're doing, or maybe they've got something that you're interested in. So um, it's a two way street. Now people say, how, um, why am I not getting any likes or comments on my page? Well, Facebook is for interaction. It's a two way street. The basic facts are the more you interact with people, the more you will receive. You can't expect your posts to get a hundred likes and you're not actually commenting on anybody's posts. So when you po post and comment on somebody, it's almost like, um, they say, well, because you've liked and commented on my post, I will do the same. So which means that your, your newsfeed, your post will be bumped up on the newsfeed and that you're going to have more eyes on your posts, which means that people are going to be nosy. They're going to look at your profile picture, profile page, and basically it, take, it, it goes on from there. So it is very, very easy. It all depending how how serious you are and how, how fast you want to grow your online business. So the more you post, comment, love heart, etc., the more you will get in, in return. Um, it's as simple as that really. So um, I hope you got value from this. Um, have a, feel free to have a look at my profile page. Um, how I've worked it um, and how what sort of posts I do, what kind of um, comments and everything I've, I've got. Um, and it's all organic free, nothing is paid. It's all genuinely organic growth. So on that note, I thank you very much for watching this. And um, I wish you all the very, very best in whatever niche or whatever market you're in. Thank you.